And off the top tonight, new surveillance video you'll only see here that shows a group of professional burglars, possibly from the Detroit area, hitting store after store here in West Michigan, breaking in and getting out within minutes before police can even show up. So far, 24 News 8's Danny Carlson has confirmed eight burglaries this crew seems to be connected to. And you can see on this map that a lot of them are in the Grand Rapids area. Tonight, Danny talked with the owner of one of those stores hit, and she joins us live. Brian and Marley, really the most shocking thing when you take a look at the surveillance video from the June 28th burglary of the Alpine Liquors, first thing you notice is just how fast this crew is in and out, stealing more than 10 grand worth of stuff and doing even more damage in less than five minutes. They're quick, organized, prepared. Three men camouflaged in black break into Alpine Liquors when the timestamp reads 3.53 a.m. And they broke um, this door and they broke in that door. Then they broke our I mean, office door and they stole like, you know, a bunch of stuff. One brought a garbage bag for cigarettes. The two others in the crew had for other high value items. When you look at the video, I mean, it seems like this was really well planned. Yeah, uh, they seemed you know, pretty professionals, you know. Only one and a half minutes tick by and by that time, the crew is gone. Never fully showing their faces to the camera, one showed just a quick glimpse as they made their getaway. The police were here like in eight minutes or so, but they were like already you know, gone from here. Alpine Liquors is one of eight stores in West Michigan hit by this professional crew since April. Police tell me they think the burglars are from the Detroit area and they target high value items like cell phones, cigarettes and liquor, things that are easy to sell on the black market. These are burglaries now, but if someone happens to be there, it might turn into something. Oh, absolutely. You know, anytime that somebody forcefully breaks into a building in the wee hours of the morning, they should be considered dangerous. And the Kent County Sheriff's Department released this picture just today of a van the crew was driving when they hit an Admiral Tobacco store just about a mile and a half or so from where we are right now. Now, police are urging businesses not to leave any merchandise out. Even here at the Alpine Liquor Store, they have put in new security measures since this burglary. Now, if you think you know anything about this crew, anything about this van, you are asked to contact the Kent County Sheriff's Department or Silent Observer. Marley? Looks like they know exactly what they're after. They move so quickly. Danny, hopefully we get some tips. Thank you for your report.